<laughs> All right, sit back and get ready to hold your belly because we got the very single comedian, uh, Jamie Kiokio from Quincy, that's going to make us laugh. Hi, my name is Jamie Kiokio, and you're watching South Show. I'm 24 from Quincy, and I'm very single. So, ladies, if you're watching, I'm accepting all callers. I'd like to start by saying I hope this isn't a tough crowd because um, most of these jokes really aren't that funny. So, um, you know, it would be a lot easier for me if you guys are um, fairly lenient on the performer. I've had um, people, they come up to me and they say, hey, man, you're funny. You should do stand-up. And then I usually say, hey, you should give me your car keys because you're too drunk to drive. <laughs> and then they go do karaoke. And I don't understand karaoke. Um, it just seems like a really public way of humiliating you. <laughs> it's, it's actually a lot like trying to do stand-up comedy. Except there's no music. And you don't know what I'm going to say next. But you're still laughing. Whether you're laughing at me or with me. Uh, uh, I like to drink. I started drinking when I was 18. And um, my mother used to say, drinking won't get you anywhere. But that's bullshit because I start drinking at my house. And then I wake up on my ex-girlfriend's front lawn. <laughs> my, my mother's scary though. Um... <laughs> Scientists say that um, we evolved from ape, but my mother evolved from Tyrannosaurus Rex. <laughs> I had a girlfriend once, and she came over for dinner, and my grandmother was there. And the next day, my grandmother said, I really like Jen. She seems really good for you. And I said, yeah, she's great. And then my grandmother said, she reminds me a lot of your mother. So I called up Jenna and I said, I think we should start seeing other people. And and then she started crying. She she started crying on the phone. But it was the kind of crying like this. <coughs> because the tears come out of her mouth. <laughs> and I don't I don't know why girls cover their mouths when they cry. I guess if you're a female and you're upset, your breast smells bad, too. <laughs> I've, never, I've never been very good at relationships. Um, but I, I brushed my teeth today, and I took a shower, too, um, because my shampoo smells delicious. And I got dressed up. Um, I got dressed up. I knew I was going to be in front of an audience, so I look really nice. I never, I never look like this though. I never look this well. Uh, I never, I never look this good. Um, you know who always looks good is, uh, penguins. Have you ever seen a penguin and thought, oh, he looks sloppy today? No way, man. Every time you see a penguin, he's always dressed for a formal dinner. <laughs> I'd like to invite a penguin over for dinner sometime. And then somebody would say, What the fuck is a penguin doing here? And I would be like, Well, isn't it obvious he's here to eat? <laughs> you should go home and clean yourself up. And you should leave the well-dressed penguin alone. And, <laughs> and then I would serve pomegranate to all my dinner guests because nobody knows what the fuck it is but have you ever seen anybody refuse anything attached to the word pomegranate i didn't think so any anytime you eat pomegranate it's like a disco party in your mouth <laughs> your teeth light up and your tonsils start to rotate it's it's amazing and i i don't i guess um i guess pomegranate's a fruit and I, I like fruit. Fruits are good. I, I don't like vegetables. Um, except for, um, psychedelic mushrooms. <laughs> I, when you eat mushrooms, you can really taste the rainbow. In fact, I think if more vegetables had hallucinogenic properties, I would be a healthier individual. <laughs> but I usually just 
throw my vegetables away. And I throw my vegetables in the trash. And when somebody sees vegetables in a trash barrel, uh, it, they, it, they don't think, oh man, somewhere, some guy is hungry. They know. If you see vegetables in a trash barrel, you know that they belong there. It's easy to throw vegetables away. Well, what are you supposed to do if you want to throw away a trash barrel? How do you throw away a trash barrel? You could put it inside of a trash bag, but to the garbage man who clean your street, it will look like you got it all backwards. Uh, that was me, Jamie Kyogyo. I know it's not that funny, but I hope you like it. We'll see you on the next South Show. Yeah! He really makes me laugh. Yeah, you know, he, you could tell he was he was really nervous. Um, yeah. But I think if he can calm his nerves down, that you know, he'll he'll have a better show. Oh yeah. I like Joe Gethard. It was pretty funny. A little nervous, but he did make me laugh a few times, and I think you've got some prospect going there. Is it, he's single. Call me. I'm in the book. Sal Show is your show, and if you want to be on Sal Show, then you have to contact Sarah and Sal at Comcast.net.